I believe that what John Grinder discovered in a naturalistic way, uh, in a spontaneous and one would say kind of an, an, an innocent way, was the, the powerful reality of the mirror neuron system before it was formally identified and named as the mirror neuron system. Here, Marco Iacoboni and um, the people, at, uh, the research team at, in Parma under Vittorio Galesi uh, did a remarkable amount of study and discovering, this, this team of, of four scientists did a remarkable, remarkable amount of work discovering the mirror neuron system as, as a formally described system. What appears to me to be the case is that the mirror neuron system is essential for cultural survival and especially for small cultural tribal system survival. And I think that explains why that we witness, say in the, uh, the video that came from the Amazon basin, why these tribes that are relatively isolated and very, very interdependent and have very little um, very little slack or very little uh, uh, capacity to endure any level of social breakdown instinctively also have a great deal of this ritualistic activation where they set aside time and they commit time and um, what you might call sort of collective focus on making sure that their mirror neuron systems are as attuned and finely aware of each other as they possibly can be. Because for them, this is truly a function of cultural survival and individual survival. If any member of that small group loses his or her mirror neuron empathic connection, that person is probably as good as dead. So those cultures, I think, do naively also and innocently resort to what we would think of as, as a variety of shamanic behaviors and, and collective intoxicant behaviors, etc. But there's a, a deep and, and crucially important underlying survival logic in that, that they must have their mirror neurons connected internally to the highest level of competence possible. And the West, in a, in a way, has, has become uh, sort of off on a different track with the Cartesian, the, the Cartesian isolation, the idea of the, the mind as, a, as an enclosed, isolated um, state of being sort of in a, in a container or um, a limiting structure that is completely unique and is disconnected from other structures and they are only known through sort of logical observations. Uh, what Jacoboni is saying and what the mirror neuron researchers are saying is that we are very, very deeply interconnected by a state of intersubjectivity of mirror neurons constantly uh, registering each other's physicality and as uh, Ramachandran said, Ramachandran in the earlier video, that these form virtual realities. We really do uh, inhabit each other kind of in a, in a virtual reality system that is the mirror neuron structure that we all have. Or if we're unfortunate enough to be autistic, we have in a, in a very diminished way. Thus, what I believe New Code is doing and Grinder is doing, through sort of a serendipitous, spontaneous uh, awareness, without really giving it a lot of intellectual focus like they did in the, the, uh, the researches, was John must have just really had a powerful, powerful mirror neuron representation, maybe you know, tenfold more powerful than most people have. So this seems like a, a normal form of consciousness to him, and it may be uh, an exceptional or unusual form of consciousness to uh, we rather dim-down beings who sit behind television sets and have these kind of uh, atomistic lives. So what I, I think that uh, mirror neuron work is pointing to is that new code has a validity which is uh, undergirded and, um, and validated through scientific research in primates and humans. However, the one little twist on that may be that there may be a, some purer or cleaner way to go about it. New code maybe is about as clean as we can get right now. But I think that new code has taken this uh, long journey from 
shamanic tribal practices and neuroscientific researches and academic practices and tried to, to really strip it down to its purest and cleanest form. But if we understand the neurological undergirdings of that, I think we can proceed in, in a very clean and effective way without, without weighting it down with a great deal of, of jargon and kind of in-group in group vocabulary and that kind of thing and say, okay, we just recognize that we're working with a fundamental neurological system that has previously gone unlabeled. So I kind of think that's where we're at right now with NLP, New Code, Mirror Neurons, Shamanism, uh, Ecstasy Rays, etc. all do have a powerful connecting logic and a powerful connecting structure that gives them a, a common basis, like a common denominator and an algebraic equation.